Today we're making this beginner-friendly macrame candy coaster. Hi friends! For this project, you're going to need 3mm 3-ply cotton rope in two different colors, a pair of scissors, and you can use a tapestry needle or a crochet hook, whatever you have handy, a hot glue gun, a brush or comb to comb out the fringe, and yes, I am using a dog brush, I find it works the best. And I also find it helpful to have a macrame board and some T-pins. Okay, let's get started. First, take your two long strands of white rope and fold it over onto itself. And you want one side to be shorter than the other. Pin that down onto your board and do the same thing with your second strand. Your two outside cords should be very long and your two center cords should be about 18 inches long. What we're gonna do is tie a square knot. So grab the leftmost cord and place it over the two centers, and then the rightmost cord goes behind and through the loop of the left. Cinch it up all the way to the top where your pins are, then repeat on the other side. So make a loop on your right, take your left side and place it behind and through the loop of your right. Then cinch it all the way up to the top. Now because it's pinned onto your board, you might find that you have two little loops at the top. If that's the case, then just pull the two center cords to get rid of those loops. Then pin it right back down onto your board. Next we're going to tie another square knot directly underneath the first. I'm doing a Christmas macrame tutorial every single day for the month of November. If that's something you're interested in, I hope you consider subscribing so you don't miss a new tutorial. Alright, for our coaster, continue tying square knots until you have a total of 30. It should look something like this when you're done. Next, place it off to the side and grab your two long strands of red cord. We're going to do the same thing and tie 30 square knots. Once you're finished, we're going to grab both sets and what we're going to do is we're going to attach it together. Flip your white cord upside down and we're going to glue the first two sets of square knots together. So the very center of your coaster should have four square knots glued together. Hot glue right along the side of your white cords and press your red cords together, holding it for just a moment. Now we're going to start wrapping it around. I like to work in really small sections at a time. That way it doesn't start warping on itself. So take your time working inch by inch, hot gluing your sides together, coiling it around. Once you've worked your way all the way around, very carefully snip off the ends of your cords and seal it together with a little bit of hot glue. Try to press it towards the back where you can't see it. Alright, now you should have something like this. Next, we're going to start working on the ends. And we're going to attach it on the sides to conceal where our coil ends. This is when you're going to need your crochet hook or a tapestry needle. You see these loops on the side here? You want to work with the one that's right after where your coil ends. This is where you're going to insert your crochet hook or your tapestry needle to thread one of the strands of your cord through. Repeat one more time with the next loop over. With these cords, you want it threaded through so that they're even on both sides. Once you have all your ends even, you're going to notice that you're going to have two cords at the top and two cords at the bottom. The top cords are going to be your filler cords and the two bottom cords are the cords that you're going to use to tie a square knot. 
Technically, you can do it the other way around. However, I find that it looks a little wonky. I personally think it looks better when the filler cords are the top cords. All right, divide your cords in half and grab the next cord and fold it directly in half. Take the loop end and place that right behind the first two cords. We're gonna tie what I like to call a floating square knot. So it's just the same way as you tie a regular square knot, only your working cords are not already attached. Because it's not attached, it's able to slide up and down on your anchor cord, which is why I call it a floating square knot. All right, once you've tied your knot, slide it all the way up to the top. Next, do the same thing, but onto the other set of two cords. For this next row, we're gonna tie two floating square knots and one regular square knot. Next, we're gonna do two floating square knots on opposite ends and then two square knots in the center. Now to secure all those square knots, we're gonna do a row of double half hitch knots. Grab your small strand of cord, and what I like to do is tie an overhand knot right at the end, just so that it helps me pin it to my board. This short cord is gonna be your filler cord. To tie a double half hitch knot, grab the first cord in line and place it over top of your filler cord, looping it around. Then repeat one more time. And that is how you tie a double half hitch knot. Grab the next cord in line and repeat the same thing. Continue tying your double half hitch knots all the way across to the very end. All right. Now you're gonna find that it's a little wobbly, so to fix that, we're gonna attach it right onto the end of our swirl. Add just a little bit of hot glue and hold it in place until it seals. Give your fringe a rough chop and then comb out the fringe. Now this is just a rough chop. We're gonna finish it at the end and straighten out the ends. Once you have it all combed out, you're gonna find that your filler cord is gonna stick out and I don't like that, so we're gonna fix it. Add just the tiniest dab of hot glue and hold the filler cord down. And do the same thing to the other side. Very carefully give it its final trim. All right, now we're gonna repeat this whole entire process again to the other side. If you enjoyed this macrame mint coaster, please do me a huge favor by giving this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.